presents Gangbusters. Calling the police, calling the G-men, calling all Americans to war on the underworld. Gangbusters, with the cooperation of law enforcement officers of the United States, presents a picture of the endless war of the police on the underworld. Illustrating the clever operation of law enforcement officers in the work of protecting our citizens. The all-American crusade against crime. hasn't committed suicide. Well, of course not. But we want Professor Mortis to think he has. All right, I'll bite. Why do you want Professor Mortis to think Haskins committed suicide? He'll go after the body so we can bring it back to life, and I'll be the body. I got it. And we trail the wagon straight to the gang's headquarters. Right. And if they manage to give you the slip, at least I'll know where they're hiding. Just an added precaution. Bill's got a portable set with him. I still don't get it. Well, in case we lose the wagon, we pick up his beam and follow him that way. You know, like an airplane coming in on the fog. Step on it, you're being followed. Wagging up the road and ditch it. Bannister. Well, Professor, I've been looking forward to this meeting for a long time. Hold everything, Copper. Your coming here enables me to do something I've been wanting to do for a long time, Mr. Bannister. Come on, Copper, lie down. You ask for it. What's the sense in killing me if you're going to bring me back to life? To remain alive, you must repeat the treatment every few days. And to get the treatment, you must obey my orders. Police are headed this way. We ran one car into the ditch, but there's more coming. Calm yourselves. They'll never look for him here. That's what you think. Oh, I see. Let him up. Professor. Hmm. Radio beam sending, sir. So you've kept them informed, eh, Ballister? It's a little late for that, isn't it, Professor? Very clever. Nevertheless, you won't get away. Take him to headquarters in your car. I'll go by a different route. Nolan, calling car 18. Nolan, calling car 18. Jules, we got to put this radio out of commission. Look, Tim, the car we were chasing. Driver, turn around, follow that car. Cut out the shooting. 
We'll have the rest of the cops down on us like a swarm of bees. I'll lose them as soon as we hit town. You'll have to do better than this or we won't lose them. Shut up. so long. We lost a lot of time going up and down side streets trying to lose the police taxi. Where are Halliger and Bernard? Shaking off the cops. Good. If you'll prepare yourself, I think we can proceed with our operation without interruption. Better take your coat off. I don't suppose I have much choice. If you're determined to use me as a guinea pig. This is not an experiment. First, I shall suspend all appearance of life in you. Then, for reasons I have already explained, I shall bring you back to a life you may not find too satisfactory. for a squad. There's a hundred places around here they can hide out. Looking for someone, copper? Come on, get in there. You too, sister. Enough time has elapsed for me to bring him back. The electrodes. Pull motor, please. I had hoped Helliger and Bernard would be here to welcome our new member to the League of Murdered Men. Pleasant one. Is he dead? Not without hope of recovery. You shall see. Pull motor, please. Chief O'Brien speaking. No sign of Vanister yet, eh? What's that? Vicky Logan and Tim have disappeared too. Well, then, find them. You have to tear down every shack in that district. What kind of a police department have I got, anyway? Pull motor off. Remove the electrodes. Merely an experiment. The whole thing seems rather pointless to me. Not at all. You are now a full-fledged member of the League of Murdered Men. 
And I'm supposed to obey all your orders, I believe. Not only supposed to, Bannister. You have to. You've got a lot to learn about people, Professor. Perhaps. When you rest it up a bit, we have two more candidates for admittance to the League. How did you get here? Walk straight into a trap. And now that they know about this, of course, they must join the League. You don't mean that. Why not? I don't mind dying and coming back to life, if that's all there is to it. That's not quite all there is to it. To remain alive, you must take one of my capsules every few days. And you can get them only from me. Is that on the level? If it wasn't, do you think we'd be taking orders from him like a lot of sheep? Shall we say, ladies first? I've got a suggestion I think will appeal to you, Professor. Really? I've no doubt that you've gathered enough money to last you and your men for the rest of your lives. He's got enough stairs somewhere out in the back to last a dozen guys like us. Money is not my real objective. I know. It's revenge. Revenge against two men in particular. Yes. Police Chief O'Brien and Mayor Hanson. If I get rid of those two for you, will you let my friends loose? You turn on men you've served so long? Why not? What do I owe them after the way they kicked me off the force? To get rid of them both, it might be worth disbanding and leaving the country. I think it's a swell idea. I'll settle for five Gs and a prescription for them stay alive tablets. Bring me proof you've done it, and I'll free your friends unharmed. Wait, Bill. You can't do a thing like that. Not to save my hide anyway. Police lab, Randall speaking. Have you analyzed that formula of mortis? If a fellow took it and was brought back to life, would he have to keep on taking an antidote to stay alive? You're pretty sure of that? I see. Thanks. O'Brien speaking. Who? Bannister? What happened to you? I'll tell you later. Will you get the mayor over to your office right away? It's a matter of life or death. And have some reporters there, too. I'll tell you when I see you. Bye. For the 40th time, I don't know what's on Bannister's mind. You'll have to wait till we... What's up, Bannister? Any more dope in the League of Murdered Men? What about that guy, Mortis? Now, hold everything. You'll know all about it after I've had a talk with the chief. What's this all about? Where are Tim and Vicky? Forget about them. I just came from Professor Mortis' hideout. Good. I'll send a couple of squads there. Where is it? I can't tell you. He just forced me to join his League of Murdered Men. What does that mean? Every member has to obey his orders. There's no escaping. Nonsense. Get to the point. The point is, he sent me here to kill you two. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yes, isn't it? Get back. You'll find out what they want you to know when they want you to know it. I don't like this sort of fooling, Bannister. Neither do I. Put that gun away. I'm sorry. But there's no other way out. There's a story your papers can play up. Get over there. Yes? Get out of next one. Bill Bannister just went crazy and killed the mayor and chief of police. So all because they canned him off the force.
Bannister kills mayor and chief of police. Disgruntled detective lieutenant avenges discharge from post. You can't give out false news like that to papers. It's a misdemeanor. I didn't give out any such story. Did you? Not a word. Reporters are always jumping at conclusions. Maybe we ought to demand a retraction. Well, don't worry. You'll get it. And just wait till you see it. Whatever you do, don't correct that story for a couple of hours. Why not? It'll probably mean the lives of three people if you do. Vicki Logan, Bannister, and Tim Nolan. Looks like he did what he said he was going to do, doesn't it? Yes, but I've changed my mind about breaking up the league. You don't have to. Hold it where you are, all of you. Very foolish, Bannister. You don't dare shoot me. Why not? Have you forgotten about those capsules? No. Our chemist analyzed your formula and found out you lied about them. What do you mean? He just told you you needed them so you'd be afraid to run out on him, and you believed it. It could Take be. it easy, Taboni. You're all under arrest. Line up, face them all. Tim, see if the squad cars have arrived yet. for locking that door. Oh, that's all right. See, I'll carry the money for you, Professor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Tavoni. No use, Professor. I want my share of that dough. Since I was the one who had O'Brien kick you off the force, I'm asking him to give you back your badge. Will you take it, Bill? Thank you, sir. Detective Captain. Should read Gangbuster Number One. Well, that's the way it goes. Demoted one day and promoted the next. You know, Bill, I wanted to make you chief, but I suddenly remembered that was me. <laughs> Hold it, gentlemen. 